I just learned there's a plant called baby bum that looks like two tiny cheeks peeking out of pants. The succulent endemic to the Western Cape in South Africa has no medicinal or cultural uses, but it's very popular due to its adorable gluteus maximus-like appearance. What's cool about the region where it's found is that due to being surrounded by mountains, it gets very little rainfall and has spawned hundreds of completely unique succulents, including a little butt. Vsauce, one story down, seven to go, this is mind blow. This shape-shifting haptic display for 3D designs is made from 100 soft robotic muscles that can activate 50 times per second. Designed by engineers at the University of Colorado Boulder and the Max Planck Institute for Intelligence Systems, it has multiple functions. Each pixel is made up of an actuator, a magnetic sensor, and a control circuit. It can create shapes, respond to human touch, manipulate objects, and generate images. So for instance, a magnetic wand can be used to draw imagery. It can display the estimated mass of an object, and it can move as well as sort objects. Or it can just do any combination of these tasks. And they hope to use this technology for future applications in the gaming industry, medical field, or even in manufacturing such as handling toxic materials. Microchip brain implants have restored feeling and movement in a man living with quadriplegia. The double neural bypass is a first-of-its-kind clinical trial performed by bioelectric medicine researchers, surgeons, and engineers at Northwell Health's Feinstein Institutes for Medical Research. The brain, body, and spinal cord were linked together electronically for the first time in a paralyzed human to restore lasting movement and sensation with the help of AI. And the long-term goal of this research isn't limited to relinking these connections, but the hope that one day disease and injury could be treated with our own nerves and with without the need for pharmaceuticals. In Science Takes Time news, 10 years ago, I told you about the bacteria-killing wings of Clanger cicadas, and now we understand how it works. Using ORNL Summit's supercomputer, they were able to model the nanostructure of the wings to understand how the nanopillars not only kill bacteria, but also clean the surface. This is extremely important because killing the bacteria isn't enough. If the Debris is left behind, it becomes a great environment for more bacteria to absorb on top of them. But this nanopillar structure continues to stress the membrane after rupturing, and the tension builds until the bacteria is detached. This could be huge news for developing antibacterial coatings for use in the medical field, such as on devices like catheters. Do you want to know how the Vsauce 2 sausage is made? For years, I've been using Storyblocks, the sponsor of this video. Storyblocks is a stock media subscription service for unlimited downloads of royalty-free video. If you're a creator, this is the way to go. A simple subscription, a huge library of video, images, sound effects, music, and editing templates, and it's all 100% royalty-free forever, with no restrictions on where you distribute your videos. No more expensive pay-per-clip pricing. It's easy, it's excellent, that's why I use Storyblocks. To get started with unlimited downloads at one set price, go to storyblocks.com slash Vsauce2 or click the link down in the description below. Storyblocks is awesome. A new algorithm has identified its first potentially hazardous asteroid. Rock-based bodies of every size are flying around Earth. Some are just a few feet wide and others are the size of the moon. But the Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile has developed the HelioLink 3D algorithm to identify the ones that might pose a threat to us, like 2022 SF289. SF289 is 600 feet long and classified as a potentially hazardous asteroid, or PHA meaning that a threat to Earth isn't imminent. An 8.4-meter mirror and 3,200-megapixel camera tracks PHAs twice per night to make sure they stay in line. Because in the grand scheme of space, being 13 million miles away is a little too close for comfort, buddy. We can snag water with spider silk. Condensing water in the air is usually a highly energy-intensive process, but spiders do it without even trying. Researchers at China's Beiyang University University have designed artificial microfibers with enough surface area to attract droplets of water, the same way dew forms on spider webs. A series of helical spindle groups
grooves helps channel the water, achieving collection volumes 2,114 times greater than simple microfiber knots. It's an efficient passive collection method that lets nature do the work for you. So if you're parched in the middle of the Sahara, just whip out your helical groove spindle knot microfiber blanket and start chugging. Why get that eat pant Bart Simpson on your lower back when you can put a nano tattoo on an individual cell? Researchers at John Hopkins University have successfully tattooed an array of wires on living cells to monitor their health. Soft cells are a unique challenge for adhering foreign elements because living cells actually move. The team's bioprinting transfer strategy attached precursors to nanocircuits onto rat brains, which they hope will pave the way for tattooing sensors that can identify problems in organs on a small scale before there's a major problem. So Kat Von D is gonna have to up her game into gold nano patterns and alginate hydrogels. It turns out jellyfish have been swimming around for half a billion years. For over three decades, fossils excavated from the Burgess Shale region in the Canadian Rockies have been sitting in the Royal Ontario Museum in Toronto. Well, recently somebody finally took a look at them. Jellyfish start as polyps on the ocean floor, which reproduce asexually. Then they evolve into medusas that can swim around freely. An analysis of 182 fossil samples discovered the oldest Burgessomedusa phasmophorus ever seen, clocking in over over 50 million years older than the horseshoe crab, but a couple hundred million years younger than the boring sea sponge. Some of the Burgess Shale fossils are so well preserved that they show what an animal's last meal was. So just know that 500 million years from now, alien archaeologists are gonna judge you for eating ham and cheese hot pockets the night before you died. Just something to think about. And now, introducing the RCA XL100, the TV that thinks in color from 19 it means RCA's most vivid color, most automatic system, and for reliability, the most tested TV in RCA history. The new RCA XL100 color track system. It thinks in color.